And I could think of a lot uh -huh. less safe places than the yen, couldn't you? <laughs> Right, of course. Well, uh, to Mr. Kuroda's point, looking at the BOJ meeting going into the end of this week, there was a lot of expectation a few weeks ago that the Bank of Japan might move. Um, we've been of the view that uh, the Bank of Japan's monetary policy will stay relative, relatively accommodative for the foreseeable future until they reach that 2% uh, inflation target, which seems to be quite elusive. You know, I think in general, the U.S. dollar is in a, a general weakening trend. And with uh, the Japanese current account surplus approaching 4 um, percent, I think a stronger yen is something that Japanese investors are just going to have to live with in, in the shorter term. You know, Cindy, when you think about some of the commentary that's come out of the Bank of Japan, it seems a bit mixed. On the one hand, we have heard from Governor Kuroda saying that they're going to start looking at uh, potential uh, tightening, normalization, looking at their balance sheets in 2019. And yet we have from the new de heard from the new deputy governor who has said that he believes that uh, policy should remain accommodative for some time, also suggesting that maybe further easing is necessary. Do you think we'll see any change in the language on mm -hmm. that front? I think you're right. I think there's been some different commentary over the past, you know, maybe six months. There were expectations at the beginning of this year, uh, particularly with some changes in their bond buying operation, that the BOJ might be moving to a more tighter stance. Um, but I think, again, this inflation target is, is very important, and they're not close to this level so far. You've seen two new additions to the BOJ board, and I think these two members are, you know, they share the same views as uh, Governor Kuroda. So we'll continue to see monetary policy, you know, loose for some time to go. Of course, there's been some maybe pressure from them as other central banks are, are raising rates or becoming less accommodative. But Japan has really been in this, um, you know, deflationary trap for, for many years, and it might take, um, you know, we anticipate the Bank of Japan will be the last major central bank to exit this abnormally loose policy environment.